Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College again. Welcome to part two of our video series on adding and subtracting numbers with different bases. In this video, we're going to do addition with lots of carryover. And of course, before we get started, we got to get out our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah, you better be. Here we go, what's... right there. Now notice, Charlie, we only have eight digits because we're going to be dealing with numbers in base eight. All right, so let's list our place values with base eights. There we go. Let's put the numbers. Very nice there. Now let's enter our base eight number. We'll put a four in our eight to the zero power place value, a five in our eight to the first power place value, a five in our eight to the second power place value, another five in our eight to the third power place value, and we'll bring it home with a four in our eight to the fourth power place value. All right, Charlie. Now to this number, we're going to add one, two, four, three, three, base eight. Now don't get scared. All right, Charlie, here we go. We start off easy. We are in our eight to the zero power place value, our ones place value, right? We have four and we have to add how many more? Three more. That's right, so that gives us seven. We'll go ahead and record that. Now, we're in our eight to the first power place value, right? These are eights. We were given five of them and we have to add how many more? Three more. That's right, okay. So if we add two more eights, that gives us seven eights, right? Now what's seven times eight, Charlie? 56. That's right. Now we still have to add one more eight. And what's 56 plus one more eight? 64. That's right. So the 64 has to be placed in its corresponding place value, right? Which is the eight squared place value. And so obviously when we add this one more eight, we got to carry the, it over to the 64 place value. So here we go. There it is. Okay, so we're done with our eights place value record a zero, and notice in our eight squared place value, we had five of them, but we carried one over, that's why we have six. All right, now, how many more do we have to add? Four more. That's right. So we'll add one, that takes us to that seven, we'll add another one, which causes the carryover, and we still have to add how many more, Charlie? Two more. That's right. So we'll go ahead and record that, a two. All right. Now, we're in our eight to the third power place value, right? We were given five, we carried one over, that's why there's a six there, and we have to add how many more, Charlie? Two more. That's right, so we'll add one, which takes us to that seven, add another one, we got the carryover, we're done, we'll record a zero there. All right, now we're in our eight to the fourth power place value, right? We were given four, we carried one over, that's why we have five, and we have to add how many more? One. That's right, so now we have six of them, we'll record that there. So we have six of these eight to the fourth powers, right? Zero of those eight to the thirds, two of those eight squareds, zero of those eight to the first powers, and seven of those eight to the zero powers. And there's our digits, six, zero, two, zero, seven. Very nice, and if you multiply and add, you'll end up with this number, 24,711. Oh, what fun. Let's do another one. All right, Charlie, here we go. Don't get scared. Notice we have four digits, which means we're dealing with numbers in base four. All right, Charlie, let's list our place values with the bases. And then we'll put our numbers. And now let's enter our base four number. Here we go, Charlie, we'll put a one in our four to the zero power place value. We'll put a two in our four to the first power place value. We'll put a zero in our four to the second power place value a zero in our four to the third power place value, and a one in our four to the fourth power place value right there. Now to that number, we're gonna add three, three, two, two, three, base four. Don't get scared. All right, Charlie, be careful. Now, here we go. We're in our four to the zero place values, right? Okay, notice we have a one there, and we have to add how many more? Three more. That's right, so we'll first add two, and adding one more causes the carryover, and there we're done. And so we record the zero in our four to the zero place value. All right, now we're in our four to the first power place value, right? We were given two, we carried one over, that's why we have three, and we have to add how many more, Charlie? Two. Okay, so right away, when we add one, we have a carryover, and we still gotta add one more, which gives us a one, and so we we'll record a one there in our four to the first power place value. Now, we're in our four to the squared place value, right? Okay, Charlie, so, 
we had zero, we carried one over, that's why we have one, and we have to add how many more? Two. Okay, easy enough, just add two. That gives you a three, no carryover. We'll record that three there. All right, let's keep going, Charlie. We're in our four to the third power place value. Notice we were given zero, we have to add how many more? Three. Very nice, no carryover, just add three, and record the three there. All right, Charlie, now we're in our four to the fourth power place value, right? We were given one, and we have to add how many more? Three. That's right. So we'll first add two, and we add one more, causes a carryover, and that gives us a zero for our four to the fourth place value, and notice we carried one over to the four to the fifth power, so we have to record that, and there's our result, one, zero, three, three, one, zero, right? Okay, Charlie, so notice we have one of these four to the fifth powers. We have zero of these four to the fourth powers three of these four to the third powers, three of those four to the second powers, one of those four to the first powers, and zero of those four to the zero powers. There we go. And now there's our digits, one, zero, three, three, one, zero. If we multiply and add, we should end up with 1,268 base 10. Whew. Okay, we got one more to do, Charlie. Here we go. It's going to be a base two. Notice we have two digits. Now, Base 2 addition with carryover is tricky, so we're going to try and go slow and try to explain it as we go through it. So, we can do this. All right, Charlie, here we go. Let's list our place value with the bases. Now with the numbers. Okay, let's enter our base 2 number, our binary number. We'll put a 1 in the 2 to the 0 power place value. We'll put a 1 in the 2 to the 1st power place value. We'll put a zero in our two to the second power place value. We'll put a one in our two to the third power place value and a one in our two to the fourth power place value right there. All right, Charlie. Now to that number, we're going to add one, one, zero, zero, one, base two. Don't get scared. All right, Charlie, here we go. Now notice we're in our one place value, our two to the zero place values. We have a one and we have to add how many more? One more, a one. And what's one plus one? Two, two. So obviously you gotta carry over that two to its corresponding place value, which is the two to the first power place value, right? And so here we go. Now watch. One plus one is two. So we're gonna add the one, we bring it down to a zero, and notice up there we carry that one up there, right? We put the one in the two place value. All right, now we're working our two to the first power place value. We were given one, but we carried over one, right? So now when we add the one that was carried over, we're going to get another carryover, right? Okay, so here we go. Zero. Notice we carry one over to the two to the second power place value, right? All right. Now, we're working in our two to the second power place value, right? Now, we were given zero, but we have a one recorded because we carried one over, right? And one plus zero plus zero gives you how much, Charlie? One. One. Okay, so we record that. No carryover. Whew. All right. Now, we're in our two to the third power place value, right, Charlie? We were given one, and we have to add how many more? One more. One, right? Well, remember, these are the eight place values. And if you have one eight and you add another eight, that's how much? Sixteen. That's right. So the sixteen has to be carried over to its place value, right? So here we go. A one and a one, okay? Notice we carry the one over, we record the zero. That's right, because we carried over a sixteen. All right. So now we're in our two to the fourth place value, right? We were given one. Now watch up there. We were given one, right? But we carried one over. So watch what happens, Charlie. We, we add that one plus one. There it is, right? It was adding 16 plus 16 is 32. So obviously we carried the 32 over, right? But we're not done with this 16 place value, right? Because we added two of them. But notice, we still have to add one more, right? And so in our 16th place value, our two to the fourth power place value, we have to record that one, and there it is. So now we record that one, and remember, we carried over a 32, right? And so we have to record that, and there's our answer, 110100. And so there we have it, one of those, one of those, zero of those, one of those, zero of those, zero of those, and if you multiply, and add all those up together, you should end up with 52 base 10. Whew. Oh, what fun. We'll see you again soon.